three, two, one. Hey, everybody, this is Victor. I am here with Becky. We're going to be talking about her real estate journey. Uh, she's a student of mine, and uh, we're going to be talking about how she went from uh, beginner to her first 36K net profit flip, uh, closed, actually. Um, how are you doing? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Well, I, uh, I really appreciate you doing this because you've had uh, you've made a ton of progress and it's been like 45 days or something like it's been right, short and right. Like really amazing stuff. And I'm just excited to like hear your story, share your story and just like really dive into details. Um, but before we get into that, like what's your what's your background? Uh, my background is actually in um, financial services. So I had an income tax service for over 20 years. Mm -hmm. um, I sell insurance, all types of insurance. And um, I've been in healthcare processing claims. So okay. this is pretty different for me. I had a real estate license at one time, uh, never really did anything with it, but was always interested, you know, in it. So I'm self-employed. So this was seemed like a really good um, additional stream of income. Oh, okay, so that's why you wanted to get into real estate, like make money. Okay, got yes, it. yes. Really cool. um, okay, and then like how long before we met? Like how long were you trying to get into real estate? Um, I've been trying for a while, um, not as aggressively, but you know, buying books or YouTube videos, things like that, and you know, what I found is it's always like a general overview, like, oh, you know, you can get this with no money down and just, you know, just go find out nothing specific, nothing drilled down. Mm -hmm. So I really was never able to really get into it and find out what I exactly needed to do gotcha. for you, of course. Oh, yeah, I appreciate <laughs> yeah. it. Um, what were some of the struggles like you had before you were getting into this, like before we met? Well, finding the homes, like learning how to find these homes, like the off-market ones, things like that. And definitely financing, you know, because you figure out, oh, I don't have any money, you know, so how am I going to go out here and buy these houses and rehab? Them? So definitely that was a big issue. Yeah. And that's totally standard for like people getting into it. Like it's always two things like money and the deals. Like how do I get the money? How do I get the deals? Um, right. If you mess up one of them, like you can't get the other one. Like, oh, I have right, no, right. no money. Now what, you know, or I've got money mm -hmm. and no deal. Um, awesome. Right. Uh, so then you, you joined my program and um, so you're in it, you're doing awesome. And um, what was your journey? Like once you joined the program, uh, can, if you can kind of talk me through like, okay, finding the deal and just, just a little bit of that would be great. Sure. Um, I started out like with the first week course and like where you just kind of cold call people, mm -hmm. you know, you look up something, cold call people. So that was kind of working. I was scared to do that at first. It was kind of working. So mm -hmm. I started like kind of expanding the network and going on your Facebook and joining different Facebook groups, you know, uh, real estate groups. So uh, I started seeing a lot of offers like, you know, getting on lists, wholesale lists. So I started joining some of those. So now, now I'm on all these lists. <laughs> and so I'm getting all these wholesale deals. Mm -hmm. In my email and my text daily, like I, I get like 15 to 20. Oh, wow. So, wow. yeah, I get a lot. So <laughs> I just started kind of narrowing them down, you know, to my general area yeah. where I could start here and, you know, what I could probably afford. I didn't want to get anything too expensive for my first one. Mm -hmm. um, so based based on, you know, <laughs> your uh, your workbook and the whole figuring out the ARV and, you know, you taught me how to look it up on Zillow and all that kind of stuff. And the 70%, I just started narrowing down the different, you know, uh, properties to see which would give me the best deal. And so I happened on one, um, I saw the address and I knew the area, you okay. know, I knew the area really well and it seemed like a pretty good deal. So I ran the numbers, looked like a pretty good profit. <laughs> So I ran it by you. You said it was good. So then I was like, okay, well, I'll make the offer. Well, then they accepted the offer. So I'm like, oh my God, what am I going to do? So <laughs> of course, then I'm calling you like, I got, they accepted this offer. I have no money. Uh, you know, I offered these people this money. What am I going to do? So, <laughs> so of course, then you put me in touch uh, with the finance guy, yes. you know, a direct introduction, which nobody does. You know, they'll, they'll be like, oh, you can get money here. You can get money there. But, but nobody does a direct introduction. Mm -hmm. So you did that. And I also put it on uh, the web, the, the Facebook page. Yes. So I had a lot of people, you know, saying that they were interested in partnering with me for the deal. Mm -hmm. So that was great. That was great. So I got with a partner, um, you know, I, we went under contract and everything was going well <laughs> until the seller decided that, you know, they threw a monkey wrench in there and, oh, well, they don't want to close in 30 days. They want to close like in two weeks. Mm -hmm. or the next week so I was like oh my god 
So uh, my partner wasn't able to do that, you know, uh, that quickly. Mm -hmm. So you found me another partner immediately and he had cash and he was able to assist me. So uh, we did a joint venture and we actually closed on Tuesday. Yeah. So from offer to close was about 10, 12 days. Yeah. So, so that was a whirlwind, <laughs> yeah. to say the least. That was quick. It definitely a whirlwind. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. But, definitely experience. Um, yeah. What I really like is like, I always teach, like get the money first, then like, or get the deal first, excuse me, get the deal first, the money will come. And I think like you posted it and I feel like within an hour with the first money guy, he's like, I'm in, let's do this. Yes. Um, yes. So you had the money. And like, I had several, yeah, emails as well after that, you know, DMs and everything. Like, I'm interested. I'm interested. I'm interested. Yeah. Yeah. That's, <laughs> so that's, it was pretty awesome. I doubted it at first. Honestly, I did like get the deal and then get the money. Like, what? but it worked. <laughs> no, it, it worked, really worked. It worked. And it's a great deal, too. I like it. Um, yeah. I like the deal personally. And, you know, you got to fund it. So that's that's even better. Um, I know right. the speed bump. And that's where a lot of beginners like might have given up like, oh, my first finance guy can't close quick enough and there's nothing against him it's just like with his right specific uh, mode of finance like it just takes a little more time so right. some beginners might have just given up there and be like well i guess it's not a deal but i'm glad we found you someone else and yes able to able to close it um are you comfortable sharing like the numbers on the deal like what you're like, sure what you bought for what you'll put into what you'll sell it for type of thing yeah they um they were asking 115 mm -hmm. i offered 111 um, so we closed at that. I estimated about 25,000 in repairs. So would have made about 50,000, mm -hmm. uh, as selling profit for, selling for 200 or selling for what? selling for 200. I'm sorry. Yes. Selling for 200. Yeah. So, um, we kind of switched it up. <laughs> like after we, um, closed, uh, the guy I was doing the joint venture with suggested that maybe we'll do an as is sale. Mm -hmm. So we won't put in the 25K, you know, we just clean it up, clean up the yard, you know, things like that, and go ahead and do it as this sale. Mm -hmm. You know, we can market it for, uh, sell it for 160, 161, mm -hmm. still make a 35,000 profit without doing anything. That's Don't awesome. get your hands dirty. So I'm all for that. Yeah, that's all of that, that more of that wholesale model. And then like, you know, you can just do more of those deals, you know, like, right. like hey, let me just get a deal and like, boom, 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 make it happen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so that's exciting stuff. What did you like, what did you learn throughout this journey? Because you it's been like 45 days, like it's been right. Really quick. Um, and it typically like students get these deals this quick, it typically takes a little longer to close, honestly. Um, so what are some like other like, nuggets of wisdom like you can share like what else you learned throughout this well it's definitely a confidence booster and mm -hmm. i learned that it's not really that hard to talk to people and they're not really they're not really that bad you know how you build it up in your head like they're just be like no no I, what are you talking about yeah. it, it's not really like that um and if you put yourself out there it seems like they'll come you know mm -hmm. the deals will come actually um I mean, basically, just like what you teach, it's about the numbers. It's just about the numbers, you know, what you, what you can make off of this. If, you know, if you can get it for a good price, you know, and you run your numbers, you have good comps mm -hmm. and it's something that you can do. I mean, I mean, that's basically what I learned. Like it's, it's not, it's, it's intense. It's intense and it's detailed. It's very detailed, but it's really in, in the grand scheme of things, it's not that hard. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's definitely doable. It seems like it's not, you know, when you see an overview, it seems like, how can I really do this? But yeah, it all comes together. Definitely, I would say stay in partnership with you, you know, stay in contact with you. Definitely the, 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 you with the introductions and things are, is a definite bonus, mm. a definite bonus, because there's no way I could have just reached out. Like I have emails from people saying, oh, I'll give you loans or hard money loans, but you don't know who these people are. If they're just trying to get your information, you know, it, they don't even have a valid like, email address or phone number, you know, anything like that. So you don't really want to give them all your information. So definitely having you as a, you know, like a third party of introduction works wonders. No, I appreciate it. I get those emails too. I don't know if you know that, like, um, and it's like some of them or a lot of them are too good to be true. It's like, you know, right. percent interest and we'll let you up to a million dollars. We don't care. About right. Anything. We don't care about anything. Right. Ugh, I don't know. It's like delete. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so it's, it's the confidence to move forward. Like, okay, who can I trust? Who can I, you know, trust in moving forward is, is mm -hmm. um, and I'm glad that, you know, worked out 
And um, so you, you bought the property, you closed, you got to do a little bit of cleanup and then probably list it next week. So correct. Yeah, yes. Um, awesome. I think you'll get multiple offers. I think you'll go uh, get above that 161, honestly. Um, yeah, that's what I'm hoping. Then we'll just take that on to the next. Okay. I'm already looking at other properties. So. There we go. <laughs> well, I like, yeah. your, like your, your first one's your hardest. Um, I, we were talking about this before, like you do your first one, it gets a little bit easier, a little bit easier, like for subsequent deals. I think you're right doing that too. Like it's a little bit easier for you to run your numbers, a little bit easier for you mm -hmm. to talk to people as well. Yes, definitely. Definitely. Yeah. Awesome. Mm -hmm. um, with that, uh, that thread in mind, like, would you, would you recommend others work with me as well? Oh, yes. I've been raving about you anyway. <laughs> I told my dentist, <laughs> like I've been telling everybody because everyone's like, how did you get into that? How are you able to do that? You know, it's like you got to see Victor, <laughs> like yeah. to hook you up. Yeah. yeah. No, I, I appreciate Definitely that. worth it. You messaged me like, hey, my Vox, uh, my uh, my dentist was interested. I was like, oh, cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like she's working on my teeth and asking me about it. But yeah, <laughs> so, I'm like, yeah, I'll text you later. I numb and I can't talk right now. But yeah, she's like, I want to get into that. Like, who did you go through? Like, yeah, so definitely will recommend. <laughs> Five star. Yeah, I appreciate it. Um, what about like, would you, uh, so I asked that, like, why should someone listening take action now? Well, the market is so hot right now. Um, I mean, it's really nothing to sleep on right now. And I mean, and it's not now when, you know? Yeah, yeah, exactly. And especially yeah. with your current pace, like, like if you continue this pace, you can easily hit the six figures, you know, six figure house flipper within your first 12 months of working with me, you know? So right. if you waited, waited a year, like you would have missed out on six figures, which is a big deal. That's a lot of money. <laughs> right. Especially since I'm getting older. <laughs> so it was something my dad always used to say, cause I was talking about going back to school and I was like, Oh, I don't want to go back to school. Like I'll be so old when I get out. And he's like, well, if you don't go, how old will you be? Uh, I was like, wow. <laughs> you know? So yeah. It's so I always kind of keep that in mind. Right. I like that. Okay. You guys will go for it. <laughs> That's a good piece of advice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, well, this has been fantastic, Becca. I appreciate you doing this. And it's just really cool to like share your story because you've done a lot in a very short amount of time. And I'm um, just really excited for you. And uh, this is just the first of many. So yes, um, exciting <laughs> overall. And um, yeah, I, I appreciate it. And this has been really cool. Anything else? Anything else on your mind or something you wanted to share? Like as we kind of wrap up here? Um, no, not really. I think I said everything. I mean, you know, you got to kind of just step out there on faith and, you know, don't let the fear stop you. Mm. Basically. But... Perfect. I like it. Yeah. I think it's a good place to end it. Uh, but again, appreciate you taking the time. This has been uh, really Thank cool you. to hear your story. Yeah. And um, yeah, I hope we can, you know, do more of these and you'll have more success. I mean, I, I know, right. you will, but yeah. Yes, I will. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Yeah.